I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Come here, chair. That t- Chair's hitting you wrong, or what? There, I got it. Okay. Everybody have a chance to look at the minutes? Yes. Yes. I did too. Anybody have any additions or corrections? I didn't see any. I did not see any. I did not either. So, uh, do I hear a motion to accept the minutes as read or as written? Mr. Chairman, I make I second the motion that we approve the minutes because the clerk's doing a, a really good job with them. And it's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Pass 3 0. Yes, I agree that minutes are very good. Okay, Commissioner comments and committee reports. I got juvenile correction coming up Thursday in Leavenworth. Oh, yeah, I believe we have the old corrections tomorrow. Okay, my next one is uh, April 13th. I have a NEKES meeting in Troy. That's my next one scheduled. Then we have the city township April 11th, but yeah. everybody's aware of that. Uh, one question in the past, I think during April we did like usually autism. Awareness Month or something like that. Are we planning on doing that again? Just is that when they lit the tar- tower? We, we light the tower. Light and blue. blue. I believe it's during the month of April. Whatever month that is. Yes. April or May. I think it's April. I've seen, been seeing some stuff, so I don't know. Usually we have a proclamation, but maybe something we have for next week. Just a suggestion. I think we have a general proclamation. I think that's fine. Okay. I think it's good awareness. Sorry, I just wanted to bring it up before I forget. Mm-hmm. Yes, there are no more committee reports. Reports of elected officials and department heads. I don't think there is any. Joe, do you have something real quick? I just need to ask Michelle real quick. Go ahead. The shredder out here, it takes $270 for the drawer slide. I just wonder if you want to go ahead and order or you want to um, Let me get with um, Melissa because I know um, we probably need to make sure the machine's worth it. Because, I mean, I, probably yes. Okay, so $14 yes. or $2,200 machine. So. Okay, because I, we, I don't know that we have any maintenance on it anymore. It's just county-owned machine. Yeah, so I don't know. I didn't know whether it was you or I didn't talk to Donna or who. So. No, it would be county. It would be the counties. Okay. But um, I was, I've been talking to Melissa in regards to if it ever goes out, what we're going to do. Okay. And, uh, so, we'll yeah, we probably, I'll, yeah I definitely. Okay. Sorry to interrupt. No, that's fine. Because it's have just time. the tray that you put the bag onto, right? Because right. the the things the are roller right fell off. Yeah. And I, it shouldn't be that expensive, but it's special made. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. the only way they'll sell is a whole unit. Okay. And okay. the way it is right now, it's not too usable. So that's the reason why I wanted to No, because it's pretty that. dangerous, too. You pull the tray out and it falls. Right. That's so, why I wanted to yeah. okay. how, how old is the whole machine? Well, that's what I didn't. I don't know for are sure we how old spending, the machine is. Are we spending good money after bad? It is something that we use a lot, though. You'll have four ba- four bags out there sometimes. Well, I'm not saying anything. it need to be fixed, but is it at the point where we need to be considering replacing versus That's what repair? I was going to ask Melissa about because we had talked about. Is this predominantly just year two mm-hmm. or is it county? It's or, county. Or county at, one, at, at one point in time, I think Pauline kind of had it and it was in here, but there was like a sign-in sheet um, for those who utilized it. But it's pretty much county use. Courts use it. I mean, it's it's used quite a bit. So, but yeah, we need to probably look at it. I mean, it's, it's, a, a it's a good machine, yeah. but it's it is enough. utilized. The only thing I, the only thing I've never liked is like the location, just because exactly. we end up with trash bags piled up mm-hmm. out here. My preference would be downstairs or someplace that we could mm-hmm. just put it where it'd be accessible for everybody, but right. just kind of right. out of the. Is this something needs to run through IT or? It it needs to have better lighting, to be honest oh, as yeah. well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it is a dangerous machine, or it could be a dangerous machine, and you you're dealing with. Very, very limited lighting where it's at. So well, if it, anywhere downstairs, we'd probably also need additional lighting in any location. But 
Okay, well, just let me know what you want. I'll okay. get it down, whatever okay. it is. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Okay, we're waiting on our first appointment, so um, anybody have anything? It seemed like I had something I was going to bring up. I have a, a check from the Commerce Trust Company on the block tax, uh, historic preservation tax credit. Uh, the amount of sixty thousand one hundred eighty-two dollars and seventy cents. We talked about last week. Pass it down to Michelle. Hmm. And that is for the second set, correct? Correct. So we are all cleared, or we got them all? Okay. All of them that are in Atchison County's name have now been sold. Okay. Okay. This will be deposited into general fund. Yeah, that's from uh, correct. Okay. The uh, elevator project. Oh yeah, CDBG grants so that we did. The the other mm -hmm. one was from Memorial Hall, and I don't know if a portion of that was supposed to go back to the Memorial Hall trustees. I don't know if they paid for part of that project. When I talked to Joe. He told me he was supposed to be getting a total. I should have probably said something to him. I think, didn't Joe say they wanted a percentage of it? To my understanding, it, he was supposed to do a presentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. Well, it would probably be in the same proportion as what they paid. Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so. fair. Yeah. Which is probably 20%, I'm going to guess. Yeah, I wouldn't think it could be much more than that. Yeah. Could be. Yeah, whatever they paid, I mean, they should get that same percentage of that check, I would think, to be fair. Was it, um, the, the project in Moore Hall, was it mainly with late lentils and windows and doors? What was the tax credits open for originally? Windows and lentils. Well, you remember? It was lentils to begin with, and then I think they added on the front doors, but I think maybe Memorial Hall paid for the, the doors. But I don't maybe a percentage. I, I think us, that's the county, I think, paid a pretty good chunk of the lentils, and I know it was highly budgeted, so I'm, just to be fair, I mean, I don't know what that percentage is. We'd have to look back and see what. Oh, was there something the angle irons had to be replaced? That's the lentils. That's yeah. the lentils. Yeah. Around. But, but there was something more that they had to replace than what they were expecting, I remember. But. Well, I think this check is for the this, elevator, so this would strictly go to Atchison County. It would general. be the check that we got prior to this. Right. Yeah, so I assume it's probably deposited in general. It is, it is not deposited because I didn't make sure it was going to. We need to do something because that's getting... Well, you'd have to deposit over. in the general regardless, and then we can... Take it back out. Like, was needing to know what was needing to come out. Put that on agenda for next week if push comes to shove. Or, or I'll talk to uh, Joe. To Joe. Okay. Because I believe we discussed it once with him. Because my understanding was the main project was through county, and then the smaller projects that came afterwards, some of those were with the trust. So. Oh, more of the trustees. On the, right, on the first one. Yeah, they did a share cost, I think, on the second, on the doors and windows in the front. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's anything else added into that. I don't believe they kicked in any on the lentils, did they? Not on the the, but the, front the main lentil the project. I believe it was the second project. Yes. Because yes. Remember, we for some reason we did the windows and doors separate. It wasn't the lentils that had to be replaced on the south side. Yes. I believe that was the second project. So I believe they and did I believe, a portion of that. And I believe they kicked in some money from the sale of their bricks on the second project. I think. Oh, that could have been what they spent money on too. I think yeah. The, the facade or the, mm -hmm. the front steps and stuff. I feel like Cyclops over here. That one smudge so bad. I can't see. Um, we have the carrot governance documents. Mm -hmm. um, over here. the past year and a half, they've been updating those. Um, 
Is there somebody I, making a presentation, or is that well, just... it's just me. Oh, okay. Um, there were several pages of red line from previous uh, from the previous draft of them, which I didn't think you all would be interested in. If you are, then I can sure email them to you, and you can look over them. But um, the the carrot board went through, uh, formed a, a, a subcommittee that I was not on and Pauline was not on that worked with uh, an attorney in Kansas City to go through and update all of the requirements and bring them, well, up to date. And uh, as the trustee from the county and the representative, I would ask your authority to approve them and to sign them on behalf of the county. Um, so I don't know if, if any of you are interested. It does not need to be done today. There's no hurry on it at all. If any of you are interested in reviewing the, uh, the red line versions, there's two uh, red line versions to see what the changes were. That's possible, but it was just too many pages. I didn't, she asked if, she should print it all out and would make your packets a couple hundred pages long. So. What kind of an overview, what types of changes? Or was it just amazingly wording? Is it. Uh, uh, a lot of it was wording. Substantively, there weren't a whole lot of changes. The, for example, trustees have to reside in the state of Kansas, and that was a change that was made. Um, there was. I think maybe more than necessary put into what happens if Kate if Carrot decides to expel a member, which they've never done, um, at, for a breach of fiduciary duty or something like that. And uh, I, it hasn't occurred, and I don't think it's very likely to occur. But there was a lot of discussion about that and uh, what kind of representation the board of the proposed county being kicked out would have. Um, And ultimately, um, it was if somebody is on the agenda to be expelled that they wouldn't have a vote. And that I thought was kind of unfair, but um, I'm not sure it would matter because of the number of votes anyway. You know, one vote out of 15. Yeah, that goes on top of this. So if you want to look at more of it, it's just more. If, if any of you are interested in it, I'd suggest just take them until next week and I'll send you the red line. I'm going to say I don't know as if it's, is it recommended that you would think that we need to read this or, I mean, is it something that's just. Um, I've read it. I think it's appropriate. Okay. If you'd like to read it, then in, uh, in fall. I'd, I this is the final draft. That's mm -hmm. the full final draft. Right. If you want the red line versions of the changes that were made from how they were originally through two edits, then... Uh, Are you looking at it online? Mm -hmm. okay. Did you get an email from K Camp saying that they would handle the work release situation? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was going to bring it up last week and I forgot it. Uh, Um, you mean on the medical care? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as far as I'm concerned, after your review, I would just be willing to sign off on it today. But Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we give the chairman the authority to sign off on the Kansas Eastern Regional Insurance Trust governance documents. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Pass 3-0. Place on there to sign them. It should be two, I think. Two five. Is it on the back? Oh, this is the one to sign. Okay.
that go to you or just you don't need a copy of it or you already have a copy of it? I, I actually have a copy of it. I think probably have them scanned it. Signature page. I'll put the original back in here. Eric, I have it scanned as well if you want to take that original. Or that, that one there. I have it scanned. Oh, well, if you've got it. If you want to take that, you can take that and read it if you have one. Okay. This document here, I mean, uh, what do you think about what they're, is this just something that's kind of a mandatory? It's pretty common mm -hmm. for them to go appraise any properties that we have over 100,000 in value. Okay. We've got, especially with historic structures, they have unique valuations. Well, I think that's kind of uh, what we asked for to make sure that we're insured property, so that's probably where this is coming from. And yeah, they do talk about the how many, how many buildings that would we have? One, two, three. Well, over a hundred thousand. Oh, over a hundred thousand. Well, that's what it said specifically. Like every four years, they three hundred per building with buildings and content values. Yeah, over a hundred thousand. So you don't take much of the building and content to Correct. to get that. We have courthouse, healthcare, ambulance service. Uh, half a dozen at least. Road and bridge. Yeah. So, okay. So that's just going to happen. That's just for a or notification, correct? There's nothing to do on that. Yeah, they did have something in the bottom paragraph. It looks like we're on replacement value. They talked about reproduction costs. So I don't know what the percentages are that you'd have damage done, but not a total loss. So like if something happened to this courthouse. They're just going to replace it at a value of what's similar today, whereas a uh, reproduction cost would be what's the actual cost of restoring it to the way it used to be. So there's probably a difference. It does. I, I don't know what that number would be, but they're talking about it would be an additional cost. But mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. But they had a that whole bottom paragraph was discussing that. So it looks like we're. I assume we're at replacement value. It looks like is what it says. It's the way it reads to me. Not every property would be, you know, you're talking about unique properties, like the courthouse would be a very unique property. Yeah, Pat wants to or, or a Memorial Hall would probably be a unique property that reproduction costs would probably be maybe a one thing. But, but I don't know if you can do, if you can choose which buildings. Yeah. Well, we got 15 minutes. I was going to say. You want to do county counselor update or? Yeah. Pat, do you have any updates? The, the tax sale, of course, is on for May 3rd at 1 o'clock. That has been published. It was in the paper, The Globe, this uh, Saturday. Um, the, uh, the only other thing I had on my list, other than the government's documents and that check, um, Jeff, on the Vandiver Trust, I don't know if anybody's done a tax return this year when UMB was the trustee they think they took care of that mm -hmm. um, um, I just good question I don't know if anybody's done that or I don't think anybody uh, has so that needs to be done um, I don't know who you want to, to do it um, Peru had done it I think last year okay MD MDP Michael D Peru is it I would firstly uh, Recommend someone else, but that's my preference. But I don't know if they filed anything for us last year. They did, was that the first year that we had to file it? I think UMB still did it. Okay. Last year. Okay. So I think this is the first year. So I'd do the trustees meet. We're supposed to meet on Friday, I believe. So you might discuss it there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Did you and Jonathan Mize ever get that straightened out? What you was trying to get straightened out? Yeah, I believe so. I think did we tracked down where all the accounts are. And oh yeah. Yeah, 
this will be a tax filing based on the trust. You know, like interest accrued over the course of your which isn't very much, but yeah, so we'll um, probably get that. We'll discuss that on Friday. What time are we supposed to open bids? One thirty. Okay. So a little bit early. We've got some time to kill here. Anybody have anything else? Uh, one thing, Michelle, you might, you don't have to put this in a minute. We like to talk to department heads once a year, so when they start coming in, if you could write down so they've attended. So far, we've had none this year yet. Well, I mean, Peggy. Monthly updates. Yes, monthly updates. I get, yeah. yeah. You might kind of put a reminder out. Yeah. Uh, last week, uh, the uh, Register of Deeds had talked about and having coming in today for talk to us about the uh, charge for yes uh, putting it online for put uh, online title search oh. title search mm -hmm. thing. and I surprised that she went on so maybe yeah. something else came out okay I'd say we're going to have everybody in here with answers. Mm-hmm. Had anybody called from Relay for Life and canceled or just heard anything? Okay. She had she was on the schedule about three weeks ago and didn't show up either. That's one yeah. two it was. If she calls up we need to remind her nice way you know we set time aside for you and mm -hmm. appreciate it if you'd show up right. I think everything's been going through on here have you, start, have you started uh, redoing your office as far as turning you keep you haven't started that yet I know I talked to my Brian today from um, USM He's going to come up. I was going to talk to you guys sometime maybe in May. You guys would be interested in maybe attending a demo for like the gold packs or the equipment that they have with me. Just to come up and that back And then uh, we got plenty of time, but are you starting to look into uh, new voting machines? Yes, that's with him. Oh, that's with him. Oh, okay. That's uh, that, thank you. And we're we'll thinking of combining the... maybe some rural locations? Thanks. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, I think after. Um, the Sanborn and the, um, the, the May meeting, I'm going to have a little bit more information on how that needs to get done. Okay. So I want to make sure I do it correctly. Yeah. I had uh, someone that had served on the uh, election at uh, on Benton Township there mm -hmm. for Pauline. Wondered if maybe you could meet with some of the poll workers that actually work the machines before I, you bought i really seriously i when i was talking to brad just this morning i had mm. asked him how how many people i can invite he told me mm. to open it up so i'd like to go back and kind of go through and maybe send out like an invitation or an email if i can find everyone um, especially if you have maybe people that you think will stay because I think you're gonna have a big turnover people that oh, have been so. with Pauline for years and this is gonna be their exit just because they've been there maybe right. too long and so if you've got people that are enthused and you know that are gonna be staying and I imagine that's kind of it's like gonna change. it's gonna be a change yeah, but you basically would like at every poll polling station have kind of a leader or somebody that's been a uh, maybe a fixture, been there before, mm -hmm. um, so. Somebody that kind of knows what they're doing. But I'd like to change up some of the training processes as well. Um, I'd like to divide that up a little bit more and um, get more hands on with the training. Has there been any more thought about combining polling spots? She said yes. Yeah. Okay, I was. I have at least two that I'm very interested in, if not three, and I could probably go bigger. Okay. Mm -hmm. with, the, with the new equipment and mm -hmm. the rent we have to pay for the building mm -hmm. and the, the what we have to pay for the people who work there mm -hmm. um, it's just going to be a lot and we have to have enough voters to turn out to make that mm -hmm. worth it. Mm -hmm. We have some places that we just don't get voter turnout. So. 
think we definitely need to look into. Something that, sorry, something that I fell into is uh, the last election there. I came down and just happened to be here and had offered my services to Pauline. And so I was going out and helping a lot of these people with the, or older people, and they were having to dig the machines out of their cars and trunks yeah. and things. They absolutely loved it. So Those, I would yes. have somebody scheduled, if you could, because these people, they come in, and mm -hmm. it was kind of dark. Right. It was kind of a nasty night, and, and it, some of these small cars now, the well, loading they're, machines they're, are... There's a time limit too, you know, they're getting close. Some of them were getting close to the one that should have been closed and getting their stuff all in but on time. They, but getting their, their ballots and machines mm -hmm. in here, so yeah, I mean, a lot of equipment, okay. you know, if have somebody maybe mm -hmm. that would just yeah. could be able to, to do that. That, that was, they loved it. Yes. Well, I'm sure they would. They loved sure it. They did. I mean, I wasn't even, you know, I wasn't even thinking. I was just like, well, it's something to do, and and the the workers. You even had to go up to one of the polling yeah. places to. Yes, there was. The, the somebody forgot to take one of the cards out of the machine, so Pauline was going to have to go up there, and I suggested maybe somebody go with her. So, I, and I volunteered to go, but mm -hmm. it as a just for public safety and mm -hmm. just because it was. It's a little bit spooky going into a strange building. There was no street lights, no lights inside, right. with flashlights. Because yes. <laughs> there's not much lighting up there. No. I um, I, I kind of want to change up the training to offer more resources, um, just to offer more education. Um, you're going to hopefully have new equipment, and um, yeah. That first year, they're going to be scared. Places. places. Yeah. But I have, I have other counties that have like training videos even. Uh, they make, look at, it's not a 15 minute thing, it's a couple hours, but they come in and they have a cookie and they have a drink and they watch a video and they actually talk to people and, you know, they'll go through different scenarios. So, because you have different things, you know, you're provisionals, you have people that are at the wrong place and so. If you could actually have a machine on hand, it'd probably mm -hmm. help too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, if, if it comes down and how would you recruit if you don't have people that are volunteering? I mean, how would you recruit people to, I mean, where would you advertise for this? I would probably, yeah, Facebook, um, the county website, I mean, the Globe, I mean, the, um, yeah. I know my mom used to do it, and I always laughed. They'd keep track because they, they made sure they got their time. Right. And they right. wanted to do it, but now there's a different generation. And right. I'm hoping that a lot of people, you know, maybe try it, yeah. you know, that haven't tried mm -hmm. it before, to allow some of those that are done that don't want to do it again the chance to, to not have to do it. I think it's more of a, been a problem, probably in the outlying areas, especially mm -hmm. where there's not, mm -hmm. and people now work. People both have to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they can't take that day off to, to work there. So right. I was just trying to think of different ways of recruiting people. A lot of word of mouth. Yeah. Calls, emails. I'm gonna get okay. stuff open up. Yeah, I'm gonna say I think it's time to open up the bids. I think you have those, Pat. I do. <coughs> have Pat? Oh, okay, she will get them. Pat. Like there are three. Biggest envelope first is from Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo Equipment Finance Inc. 2.70% uh, has bank qualified, which these would be. It has a 2.90% for non bank qualified, but these would be bank qualified. Uh, the annual payments 58538 National Bank. Out of county on that one. Mm -hmm. Out of county on that one, didn't it? Mm -hmm. 
challenge. Three point one nine percent annual payment of fifty nine thousand three hundred ten point zero six. Bank two point seven nine per cent annual payment of fifty eight thousand six hundred thirty four dollars. pretty much want the same collateral um, the proposal just said it would be the equipment that we purchased and Correct. if they needed more that we would add something more but I see. Okay. none of them addressed that okay that typically hasn't been a point of much discussion in the past when we've negotiated them The Bank of Horton also had an additional fee or expense of $300 listed, where the, as the other two did not. I did um, estimated at $300. So that puts an annual fee, or is that no, a that, I, that one time that, fee? I think. I think it's just a one time. $59,934. Fifty-eight nine thirty-four. Excuse me, on the Horton Bank bid, annual payment. Well, that would well, probably be just for the first, the first year. year that, that, mm -hmm. That'd be different. So, yeah. I guess you'd put a. How many years is that? Four years? Three years? Five. Five it? years. Sixty dollars a year. Well, we're all pretty close. What do you guys think? Let's see that. Me personally, I know we're supposed to go to Lois, but I think there's something to be said about having it within county. But then again, that's my personal bank, so you two decide. I can justify it both ways, so. I don't know if we've ever done a lease purchase with Fortin National Bank or Wells Fargo. I believe Wells Fargo bid before. Now I may be mistaken. Was Wells Fargo the? Uh, That's right across from Mr. Mears's building or Rick Berger's building. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they bid on something before. I don't Did recall they, what it was. Was it the radios or the telephone system? It was something. It was something that they bid on. I don't remember since I've been here any from either Horton or Wells Fargo. 
-hmm. That stated, is that something in the past? Have they passed them around to to different hitters, or I mean, what do you send out? I sent them purchase. to every bank that had a place in the county, and then I sent them to. Um, we sent one to Commerce because I think they had in the past been mm -hmm. on something. I, I could. I could so this. And I did send it to Horton. The Horton Bank uh, would be uh, affiliated with uh, Don Ball's bank. Is that? Are they totally different? No, no. They're. they're as far as I know, they're, they're different. different. Be the one to I'm fine. Say. Uh, you know, one of those is truly local in county, so I mean, I'd be comfortable with Exchange Bank, even though it's a little bit more on in the interest rate. Um, usually, they've been pretty competitive in the past. So. They've been more competitive in the past. We've got past history, but then again, I, like I say, I hate to say it's one of my personal banks, but I would like to see it stay local myself. Okay. Maybe next well, time, sharpen pencil up a little bit more. I'm going to say it, it's close, but I'm fine with that too. So, okay. do I hear a motion? I'll make a motion to accept the lease purchase bid from Exchange National Bank. Uh, percentage annual rate of 3.19%. Annual payments of $59,310.06. Oh, I purchase equipment from for a transfer station. I second that, Mr. Chairman. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Pass 3 0. Okay. Thank you. Who knows if you can contact as far as uh, campaign members? Oh. Yeah, I, think, I don't think, I think Stacy had them, didn't she? I don't know. I don't think. I don't. I think she said they he weren't identified when we approved it. I, I think he was to get her that information as soon as he had it, and then she could provide it to Pat. You may make a note and uh, get with Stacy, email her, and see if she's got the VIN numbers and all that stuff. Okay. Or put something in her box. That'd be the quickest. And so okay. then we have the clerk contact Mr. Weeking. Or do we have the counselor? Do, Pat, the do you need them those no, no, numbers also? The VIN numbers asking. for your records or they or just can well, she just relay them directly to Oh Troy. Yeah, they can go there. Um, we don't get them back to review. So Okay. Okay. I think in the past the we've got change. Pat the VIN numbers. And he deals with the banks and mm -hmm. so Michelle will contact you. Perfect. Okay. okay. Well thank you for coming. Thank you. Thanks guys. Okay. Shepherds, do you want to come forward? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we She worked for the state for forever. <laughs> so she, uh, 38 years is not forever. Yeah. You, you were here, what, about the first or second week in February? Yeah, we yeah. met you. Yeah, when they all just started. Mm -hmm. Sure. But I've been working out state, so I'm going back. Mm -hmm. So I guess um, I just want to know um, you said you're waiting on, you won't have a decision until the end of April, and I'm just mm. wondering why are you, are you waiting on an attorney general opinion, or what are you waiting on? Not, not quite so grand, but okay. we've been uh, talking with the appraiser's office, okay. with the township, just different, trying to get more, <laughs> as much information as we can. So, okay. I mean, there's nothing really put off or, or anything. It's just been the more information that, we can come up with the better. So have you got the records from the clerk's office where the road was petitioned and yeah, we've seen the newspaper this. and surveyed mm -hmm. and yes. Okay, you got that. Yes, okay. uh, I've read them and like I say, I I think I've told George that I was actually down on the drove the yeah. road and and looked at the road and things like that. So mm -hmm. I mean, everything more that we can see it gives us a lot better informed decision. 
dad's going to have a survey. The surveyor's supposed to be there this, this week, the survey. Okay. And that will prove that the road is on his property totally, except for the ditch. Right, Dad? Yeah. I, the ditch is the line. The ditch I, is the line. I, I believe the ditch is the line, but I think the way the the abstract reads that the uh, it should be platted on that that would be the center line of the road. I think you'll find that you're incorrect. Okay. When the survey is complete. I, again, you know, more information. And the survey we have. will tell. Mm -hmm. And it's it's costing us a lot of money. Well, not me, but my dad. Because surveys aren't cheap for a, to survey the whole one. Well, he chose session. to do that. So. Yes, he did. Yeah. Oh, I'm not saying yeah. anything bad about that. No. Okay. Um, we did. We were going to get an affidavit from uh, Charles Brenner. You might know him as Archie. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, I had one made up, but he's in the hospital in Houghton. He's got heart and lung problems, and he's like 85, I think. So he's not in real good health. So I con we contacted, my dad contacted Rosemary Brenner. Mm -hmm. who owns property on there that is landlocked, and she uh, gave me an affidavit. I'm going to give you a copy. I'm keeping the original. Sure. But here's the copy. Thank you. And she contends that Archie was the, he worked for the township, and he maintained that road during his tender with the township. So at that point, uh, but she doesn't remember the years. And as you see, I crossed that out. Mm -hmm. I can show you if you want to look at it. Well, I just need this one back. Oh, okay. I'll get that, I'm sure. And she inherited, she inherited the property from two sisters. Or George. Is it the next one over, or is it the 40 acres that's way down in it's there? It's on the second page here. It's the 40 right here. It's the 40 that she's... This is okay. dad's. Mm -hmm. This is the little old lady here in Atchison. It's 103. Mm -hmm. And then this is hers. So uh, I know. I think Mr. Oots farms one of them, and who's the? Yeah, other? Kenny does. Kenny Oots. And who farms the other? Uh, Scott. Moore. Moore. Okay, I know Scott. Mm -hmm. And they are both landlocked. If my dad decided to be really nasty and put a gate up. Again, Dad just wants it off to taxes. He he wants it. It's it's farmland. It's not grass where that is. The soil type is cropland. It's not native grass, according to the soil types, the books. Right um, well. Well, it's real easy to look it up. I mean, the soil types are in the books, so. Right, the soil types, but mm -hmm. it's, if there has been, I believe the strip has been, is not it's already been taken off as part of that when it's listed there's native grass which is, and tame grass and he says he don't have one of them but I believe that strip is already off of that property and so if that's what we would take off would be the strip that has been listed as as native grass then it would be that's the type of property that it would be listed at am I correct in that yeah the way that ag land is valued in I know how it's valued. Okay. I was an appraiser for KDOT for a long time. So I understand that. Well, I'm an appraiser right now. Uh huh. And uh, are you saying I'm old? No. <laughs> Wait a minute. I no. think I just got offended. We're, we're probably close <laughs> to the same age. <laughs> oh no, I think I'm probably old. Uh, uh, but the, the soils actually don't have anything to do whether it's native grass or crops. But is that how it's taxed, right? It's valued on its use value. Mm -hmm. So um, if it's crop land or if it's pasture land, mm -hmm. um, it would have two different values, even if it had the exact same soil. Okay. So it's really depending on its use. Okay. So that's how it works. Well, we just need a decision so we know how we need to go forward. Mm -hmm. So we just need a decision from you. We have got lots of information, but I don't think you want it. So, uh, I mean, I've got the maps out in the car where the county, uh, the state county maps I got from KDOT that show the road plain as day during the different years that I talked about before. Mm -hmm. um, I had to you know, pay $26 to get them. They wouldn't give them to me. But uh, I do have those maps. So it was a road at some point. 
and we can't find where it was ever vacated, mm -hmm. and I know you can't find it, because I can't find it, and there's nothing in the clerk's, the road records, that says the road was ever vacated. And I know, you know, by statute, you have a procedure to go through, and I don't see where that was ever done. Do you, have you found anything? Because I've been unable to find anything. I haven't looked for that, but I. Why haven't not, you looked? I mean, we've been dealing with this since February. Well, it's not clear to me what you're asking this board to do. We're asking because, and you you make these threats about if my father decided to close this road. Well, it, he either thinks it's a road or it's not a road, and he should act accordingly. And if he thinks it's not a road, then he can close it. But if he thinks it's a road threatening to us that you're going to close the road seems silly to me, frankly. I wasn't threatening you. Well, it wasn't threatening to me. It was just threatening to close the road. But it's not really clear to me what you're asking this board to do and whether this board has any authority to do what you're, whatever it is you're wanting. Either the road has been opened or it hasn't, and the, the board doesn't ordinarily review to say, well, a decision was made by a board at some earlier date. Do you agree with it? Uh, so it's not very clear to me what you're asking this board to do. I think very much what I'm asking. One, we consider it still county road or township road. We show it was maintained during the years. And two of the landowners are landlocked. If, you're sa if you, the board, or the appraiser is saying that is dad's road, then dad does have a right to close it if you because he doesn't use that road. He comes in from a different direction. But the, but the road is open because that. my dad's a good neighbor and gets along with his adjoining landowners. So uh, it's can, either I, can I interrupt here for a second? Sure. Uh, so is, is the issue that you have just merely that you want it off the taxes or that you want it maintained as a county road? No. I, I, my, my desire would be put up a, make it a minimum maintenance road that might, if someone goes down the road that you're saying is my dad's and someone gets hurt, they sue my dad. He's liable. Because people, the, the landowners use it, the adjoining landowners, and people going to the Delaware to go fishing or hunting, they use that. So there's people up and down that road. So Not that all. issue is the liability and wanting it off the taxes. Exactly. And, and our issue is gathering information to figure out what to do. And that's where I we're guess. at. We're in the mm -hmm. gathering information stage. And if it's a road, uh, as far as my end of it goes, if it's a road and it has never been vacated, then yeah, by all means, I'll take it off the parcel and, and not charge them whatever the yeah. taxes are. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's no the tax is my news. I mean, but it's the, I guess yeah. it's come to the principal. Mm -hmm. And so, and, and we've gathered lots of information that I don't think the board wants, but yeah, we so have. They'll, they'll take all the information, not so. only the information that you have, but the, the rest of the information that they have yet to gather, like from the township, um, people that we have yet to talk to. But we'll, we'll get it done. I mean, we're not going to stop on it. Well, it, it's time to flat corn here in a few weeks. And should I say you can't go down there? Mr. Shepard, if you think it's a road, I think you you probably should treat it as a road. Everyone thinks it's and, a road. Well, then why would you ask the silly question? Well, should, are you saying you my dad's asking a silly question? Yes, Excuse I am. Excuse me. Yes, I am. Why? Well, if you're claiming that it's a road to make an inconsistent statement, is uh, you, you're asking if you may go plant a corn on a, a, That's not what a he county asked. road. You weren't you listening close. to what he said. Well, if you, if you believe that it's a county road, and it's a, or if you believe it's an open public road, you, you would be violating the law if you took steps to close it and to keep other people from traversing no, across it. Yeah, but you, you yeah. can't say it's a road or it's not a road. And yeah, it's, what are you and it's saying? Not my dis I, don't, I don't have a dog in that fight. I don't have a decision to make about it, and neither does this board. Now, it's a, excuse me. It was a county road at one time. It was a township road at one time. Township and county is two different things. We understand that. And 
there, I don't know of any procedure for the Board of County Commissioners to review and decide if this is a road, is it still a road? Is it? Well, I don't know of any mechanism for this board to ever decide that issue. I guess I don't understand that. It's the bo Board of I County Commissioners' responsibility to uh, de decide if a road is a road or can be a road and to vacate roads if they're no longer in use. Nobody's, asking the, nobody's asked this board to vacate the road that I can tell. And nobody's, nobody's asked them to open a road that I can tell. Because we're contending it's still in place. From all the documentation I've acquired, it's never been vacated, so it's a road. Okay, well there's your answer. But now you're asking, should I can so I So then should it shouldn't be on my dad's taxes, okay. if you're saying it's a road. The, the, county, the Board of County Commissioners doesn't make that determination. Who does? Uh, the appraiser does. No, the appraiser told me that she wouldn't make a decision till the, till the so you decided, right? Now what you told my dad? Well, I said that there's uh, information yet to be gathered from the township to find out if if this road was ever in fact open and was it ever vacated. And then, Those are the two pieces I don't know about. And then, was well, it ever open? And I know it was it was petitioned to be, and I know that there was an order for the township to open the road. But what I don't know is, did the township open the road, and has it ever been vacated if it did in fact get open? Well, according to Charles Brenner, he maintained it when he worked for the township. That was one of his duties, was to maintain the roads of that township. And he did so. It's and I have an affidavit from his sister It's looking like it was a road. We're just missing a couple pieces of information. Okay. You know. And I, I think maybe you think that we're just sitting well, here I and not doing a little bit thinking that but I've been I've had numerous communications with Pat and the appraiser and uh, Roger back here about this so I mean okay. it's not I, I, I kind of think you are think that we should have made a decision yesterday or the, or well, the week before two months, so. well it has been it was 40 years before you brought it to mm -hmm. us so I didn't think that we were completely without out of the realm of taking some and doing this correctly. Well, what else do you need from us? I mean, I'm willing to do whatever you need to find it. I think we have all this. If I might, I have asked them, you know, to check with the township, find if the township still believes that this is uh, one of their access roads. If it is, then if we put it back on the books, it not only affects your property, but affects the property to the north of it and the property to the east of it. And so all three properties, center lines, uh, the road as defined in the creation that you're referring to mm -hmm. does not say that that is the north boundary of the line. If they define a road, we would always consider that line of definition to be the center line of the road unless specifically stated otherwise. All I have is it says no damage is allowed. County will ditch, will dig ditch on north side of road. Right. On the north side of the road. Right. We just We're, the line, according to us, that's the property well, line or say a and, quarter and this, section. And this is how I would advise the commission is that the location of the road is a legal instrument and not where it sets out there in the field. It doesn't matter if they say that this driving lane is out of that out of that road right of way. The road is where it's created by the adoption. And so that adoption being on that quarter section line would put half of the road on your property, half on the property to the north. I would it's, agree with that statement. But it's not. Right it, it really doesn't matter whether it is or not. It matters that that's where it was created. Now, but that, Pat, you could also address that. But we would be getting the center line of the road. And so going out there and surveying it is not going to establish uh, whose property it's on. All you can do by, by surveying is establish where that quarter section line is. The, the road as it was established, um, it's describing the center line of the road on the section line. The road's 40, 
40 feet wide? Is that yes. Right? Yes, decided? 40 feet. So 20 feet would be on the north of that section line and 20 feet would be on the south of the section line. Well, well, That's I'm, how well, I, I would, interpret it. And I've seen nothing in any of your documentation that says otherwise. Why would they dig a ditch down the middle of it? Then? Regardless of where ditches are, where pathways are, or where the, where the gravel <laughs> is, that's what the documentation says. So they're, so they're saying it, the pathway could be different than the actual legal. Right. That's right. What I'm is, is that the way I'm interpreting it? The road, which road happens road all the time. Right. I mean, I've seen it, it lots of times. Yes, if there is a hedgerow or a rock wall fence. Yeah. Flooding. I mean, that I don't would know. Make a difference. Things change the parameters. And you know, and as well everything. as I do, that the road right of way is wider than the pavement. Yes. The road right of way is 20 feet either side of that quarter section line. That's not, I don't interpret it that way. It or doesn't say things. anything other than where the where okay. the. You, you indicated that you're going to get a survey, so this week. If you have that survey, then Roger should look at the results of it, and if there's still a question yeah. about it, then it would need to be decided. But trying to determine a hypothetical about it, I think, is really not very productive. I agree with you. It's it's our we think one way, they're thinking another. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean either one's wrong, but it means we have a difference of an opinion. Still gathering information. Well, I don't. We'll get there. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the county has any real <coughs> position or opinion. I think they're trying to find that. We'll, we'll, we'll get. We'll gather the information. We'll get there. We'll. We'll have an answer. And uh, he said the end of April. Happen. Is that still in I, line? I, I. That was kind of an estimated time, but I don't see that we shouldn't have some some answer, some kind of answer for you by that time. But because uh, I have been in touch with the township, but I ha they haven't gotten back with me yet. So with Russell, no Richard, no Greg Oswald. Okay. You know him then. Greg's uh, chairman. Mm -hmm. Well, I, he's he's one of the board members. Yeah. I don't know what. Well, Russell is too. Yeah, Russell Richards. Okay, and I know Russell real well, but I, I called Greg because. So and. Um, and I talked with Greg because his dad was also but had some input. And I mean, he couldn't remember anything specifically, but since being on this board, so. Um, but. Well, another thing: Did you find uh, who authorized to put the extension on the culvert? No. You can't either. No it's probably working. a township thing because uh, unless they said they didn't. Really, this is uh, this is a county road that's going north and south. Oh, yes. So they could they could put extension. We wouldn't have to have authorities from anybody. That's it's not road. on your property. Your I, I don't see where the problem is. Huh? But it's it's on the right of way of the county road. So I don't see what the tube being there is a problem because if the tube wasn't there, people couldn't go down the rest of the road on that. The tube is there just to take that water to go on across the road, to keep it going south. Driveway so It's a driveway tube. tube. So we've got a lot of things that aren't roads that do have tubes going in. At every house, there's a driveway. But this mm -hmm. tube is where the road is on that. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm so not someone arguing. probably extended. I'm not trying that. to argue with you at all. No, but someone probably extended that for the bigger equipment. Yeah, that would be my guess. Somebody, not us, I, but somebody. I would there's, tell you that. There's no record of it that we just don't have all the evidence. The evidence I've seen may, may tend to support that. And, but if so, the locational thing is something I want you to, to understand that from my standpoint, the location would be where, where the county commission accepted that road. And so that's what I would be looking for. And who, who are you? Uh, Roger Denton. Roger Denton, okay. And you're the appraiser, I'm right? GIS coordinator for the county. Oh, okay. I do a lot of the mapping stuff mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. I thought she. Okay. I, I, no, 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 I, I knew she was I, the appraiser, but I didn't know who Roger was. Uh, okay. A lot of my background in history is I was public works director for the city here for 12 years. Um, I've worked in uh, a number of different municipal jurisdictions and county areas, and so. I may have. Things that I look Have for. you been here a long time, Roger? With the county? Yeah. Uh, five years. Four or five years. Okay, I may not. This, when we put the Missouri Bridge in. The new bridge, I was involved in that. Okay. And I dealt with that. We made a, that one company very wealthy. <laughs> State did. 
Okay, uh, when you right. get that survey done, if you want to make it, if you want to send it to Roger or, or to survey? some. Uh, Andy, thank you. Okay. Uh, most any time anymore, but if you'll just have Andrew give me a call. Oh, sure. And we'll. Uh, okay, I was going to say facilitate to getting that. We send yeah. stuff back and forth. Another uh, thing I wanted to ask you is uh, Barton Road, does that half of that come off my property? Oh, the, the north south the, road? Yeah, do you own to the yeah. center of the road in Anderson? Well, how is that? Uh, the county roads, property owners normally own to the center of the road, but mm -hmm. the parcels, um, we don't include road right of way in the parcels. So is that this? 159.97 acres is that still part of the road then or the one the if his parcel size is 159.96 that one would still include it yes well it doesn't include barton road it wouldn't include barton road. Oh, it wouldn't include no, barton road it wouldn't include that's, include that's, that's why it's slightly under the 160. yeah it would include um the property on the north that we haven't decided about yet, yeah but it, yeah any other any other road right away or not. A few years ago, the Addison put a new bridge in right there, or culvert or something, and mm -hmm. they, they acquired some land from you. Correct, on the south end yeah. of the property. Is that off of there? That does. That is off of there. It wasn't very much. It was like um, two tenths or something. I, don't I can show you a sketch that, yeah, I, that shows that off. Of I there. helped him deal with it at the time, but I think it, it wasn't yep. very much. Was it even two tenths? show you where it's widened out on the southern end. Mm -hmm. That's Barton Road right there. Okay. Yeah, it was right on here. Right. Okay. So it's $19. So right. We're really only talking half and, of that. And laying out because exactly what be. they had. Here's where We're it talking $9. Here, mm -hmm. clear over here, shows it down. 60 yeah. cents. So That's, it. Mm -hmm. That's right that where it stops. Right and here. we think what happened was it continued on, and there used to be a road here at the county line. Yeah. Our records show was, none of that. Well, Jefferson County has. Okay. I already acquired it. Okay. And, but but our, it was our records show nothing past this going down mm -hmm. either. So. Now, Jefferson County shows a road here and shows a road going down. Okay. But it's. Yeah, we're we show What are we going to do, yeah. Jeff? Hmm? What are we going to do if the township says, no, that's not a road? Well, we'll not just have to talk with them and see where, where we're at. So, mm -hmm. so who will okay. contact my father? Uh, I can. Or, uh, I can. Okay, Eric. Now, or, do you want me just to email you, or how? Anyway. Okay. It don't matter. Okay. I just wanted to make sure who, because mm -hmm. by email, I, I've been contacting you, so. Yeah. To me, the, the answer is, it's, it's a township road, put up a minimum maintenance sign. That way, my dad's not liable. You, county, township isn't liable, according to statute, if you have a minimum maintenance sign up, and that's pretty... I mean, I got the procedures right here. It's pretty easy to do. That also that also opens that road up to anybody who wants to use it. it. It's open now. We have people hunting, fishing, going up and down that road now. So what's the difference? Okay, and, and the best scenario, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was $19 in taxes they're paying on this road, $18. So it would, be half, it would be half of that, correct? No, no, no. You pay. You pay to the middle of the road. That hasn't been decided. We haven't decided that. I but I think that estimate was based on a forty-foot. That was on the full thing. But it's all on me. Yes, that's that's what that estimate was. But that's what we haven't. That's some of the we haven't made a de or a determination hasn't been made of of how that is going to shake out yet. But so you'll make the affidavit available to the appraiser. I don't, don't think that there would be an affidavit for yeah, you, coming. You got a copy of the yeah, affidavit. I mean, so you'll have it. Yeah. Don't give me oh, I thought you meant that no, we would have an affidavit. No, no, no. Okay. All right. I have an appeal from Mr. Shepard for his 2017 valuation. So I could put a copy of that affidavit that she brought in as a part of the appeal, you know, my, my appeal documentation. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that'd be a good record of that. So, okay. So if you need anything else from my dad, he'll be happy to provide it. I mean, he just, he wants the road off his taxes, and preferably we'd like it to be a 
Township Road like it should be or is because it's never been vacated or anything and be a minimum maintenance. So therefore, no one's liable. Okay. I mean, that's a simple solution, so. Okay. Well, thank Anything you for coming in. No. All right. I'll wait to hear from you, right? Okay. And I'll, bu I'll bug you if I don't hear from you. Okay. So. Yeah, hold okay. me to it. Oh, I will. I'm thank you very much. Okay. Um, I do. I'm downstairs. I'll okay. be down there in just a minute. Okay. okay. No, I'll, uh, that'd be fine if you can find one. I I just print up a few every now and then because I'm never looking for business. <laughs> that usually finds you, huh? If I can, while well, at the very end here, mm -hmm. uh, Eric had asked me, and I don't have a gob of copies of this, but uh, maps that show the property ownership, uh, the the. I can print another one for you, Michelle. Um, I have four that that show the the maintenance of these roads, and uh, it's just information that you may want for upcoming meetings. It shows you the mileage of roads that each township, each city, and each county. I mailed you the numbers. This is actually the map upon which it was created and the center lines that we took. Now these may differ. The numbers may differ differ slightly from what. They report somewhere, but these are done by center line calculated lengths, and they're they're relatively accurate. So it just gives you a little better information to deal with, and this also breaks down uh, hard surface versus rock roads that the county maintains. Is so. there any uh, data on rock versus dirt roads too? Do does the Townships put that data on when they send in their budgets, and it seemed like Dad used to have to put that on something. When he would send in, maybe that was revenue sharing or things that they used to have. But anyway, looks like the dirt roads would all be minimum maintenance roads. Well, they're they're not. I mean, like the Benton Township dirt roads. Then there's no signage or anything, and it's minimum maintenance. But I was just curious what what their ratio. I I don't want people digging, having to dig. I just thought maybe that was something that you knew where, where it was. Let me take a look and see if I can find that easily right now. I don't show. Okay. Uh, what the makeup Don't is unless a, they were something we maintained. Don't spend a lot of time on it. Okay. It's just something kind of right. for, you know. It's, it's not a difficult thing to do. It's just, well, but, you if know, it's available, I'll use it, and mm -hmm. I can give it back to you. Yeah. Let me ask you this. If the shepherds get what they want, they would pay taxes to the middle of this road, correct? No. Actually, if they get what they want, if, if and, and let me not say if they get what they want. If, if you consider, if, it's a if everyone considers that the road is still a valid road, what we would do is we would go in, we would take 20 feet off the northern side of their property, 20 feet off the southern side of the property to the north of them, and then it goes into a field, and I will, I'll actually uh, give you this to pass around and deal with. I didn't print a bunch of copies of it. But this actually has the road location as defined in there. And I will tell you, uh, when she talks to her surveyor, her sur surveyor, uh, their surveyor will straighten them out on the location of roads and how they're defined. Uh, hopefully, because I think whether, even if we say, yeah, that's a road, and we give them 20 feet, the argument's still going to be there until somebody else straightens them out on the 20 feet versus 40 feet. Okay. We're still going to have the problem. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought possession was nine-tenths of the law. So if this line has been established that ditch for more than seven years, isn't that the line? No. No, that's not I, true. Not right. Your legal counsel is going to tell you no on that, I'm sorry. Oh. Mm -hmm. I always thought that was the case. Yeah, but the statute of limitations doesn't run against the, the county, so we own, uh, we own what's defined. So I think part of the problem is what's defined maybe wasn't as clear as it should have been. So. Well. Right. And we don't know that the ditch is on the property line. Right. I, that, correct. The I, road I, record says that the ditch is on the north edge of the right-of-way, which would put it 20 feet north of the property line. Now, there's a pen, but any time I'm dealing with a pen that's supposed to have been there since 1930, I don't know who put it there, how it was found, and where it came from. Mm -hmm. And so those are things which uh, yes. surveyors are allowed to do. This surveyor that they've hired, is he a legitimate Yeah, honest. Andrew Tankin has a lot of surveying for Andrew. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have about circumstantial evidence is that, that the ditch lines up perfectly with the fence across the road. But right. And that's circumstantial, I know. And that may be. That, that well may be. But from my standpoint, as many years as I've dealt with this, I will tell you, 
where they're driving because there could be something like a tree fall down and pretty soon the road's going out around mm -hmm. that tree. That does not change the location of the road. The road is still where the road was created when it was first formed, in my opinion. And, and Pat, you can tell them if, you're, if you differ with that. Now, there may be prescriptive easement that can be acquired for historic use, but uh, I don't think that's what we're looking at right now. Okay? Mm -hmm. Is that... Do you want this map here back? No, you can. You guys can keep that if you'd like, or I'll put it in the file if you'd rather. Uh, you deal with it a lot, it might help you. Uh, why don't I take this, because if I talk with the township, it may come in handy. Absolutely. Okay, thank okay. you. Well, well, no. hmm? uh, what if the township says no? We're not going to take it as our township road. Isn't it? Isn't it their call over ours? Or they should have went to them first. No. no. But I don't think they have a choice if it if it's if it's a township road, and they don't have a choice about that. If it is, then they have to deal with it. Um, but we're still trying to figure out whether or not it's a whether or not it is. I think the only question for them is have they at any point since 1930 maintained it? Did they open it and, and has it been maintained? So. Okay. okay, let me ask you this. Could then the township also say, no, we're closing it tomorrow? There's a procedure and it would have to go in front of you, but yeah, they could petition to close it. Which I don't think they would do because they would landlock this. There would uh, be damages that would have to be paid. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Roger. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Public comment. Executive session. For anything? Uh, I don't have anything. Okay. Does anybody else have anything? Do you, oh. Do you, do you want to? I don't know if you have any information. Uh, oh. No, not really. Okay. I, could send you an email about it probably is easy. But like okay. All right. Do I hear a motion to adjourn at two thirteen? So moved. I second, Mr. Chairman. It's been moved and second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed.